So let me clear this and let's discuss on the DP problem. Yeah. So our LIS at three is one. What about our LIS at two? So we can say that it could be maximum of either one because we only have one element or one plus LIS of three. But if you look at this, we can only add this if our nums at two is smaller than five, but here is greater than five and hence this case won't be true. So this will be one itself. Similarly for LIS at one, it will be max of one or one plus LIS at two or three and this will return us two and similarly for zero it will be max of one or one plus LIS of one or two or three. So from here we know our LIS at one is two. So one plus two this will be three and finally the maximum of one and three is three and this is what we will return and now let's code this up. Let's start by defining our n which will be our size of nums. This will come very handy and our LIS will be array of size n and we can initialize it with all ones. Now we will start from the end and our second pointer which is j this will be our i plus one as we said we'll start from this five here and then go all the way to the previous elements. If our nums at i is smaller than nums at j then lis at i will be equal to maximum of lis at i or one plus lis at J. This is pretty much it and finally we will have to return our maximum of whatever is inside LIS and this completes our solution. The time complexity since we are using two loops it will be O of n square. So now let me run the code. It works. Let me submit this. Yes it works. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes you can consider subscribing to this channel and thank you so much for watching.